Hey guys, I'm back. Today I'm here, I'm here to do this roan. So in today's video, we're gonna lay stone right around this roan. Um, I have an angle line here. We have to figure out how to get our angle line to curve, to go perfectly around this roan. So we're gonna have to cut this angle line to shape it where it can fit perfectly over or around just like you see I have him here. So we're gonna put some Tyvek, we're gonna clean up our round and we're gonna get started. We're only gonna build this round, come up to right underneath the window and after we're gonna have sills and continue on up, it's gonna be stucco. So no further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before jumping to the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming video like this one. Let's get started. So first thing here, just gonna go ahead and clean off my concrete ledge. Some drop mortar on it. So where preparation is concerned. This is what it should look like. Install our Tyvek, we tape around our scene, we tape underneath the bottom of our window, we tape alongside here. Right here is where our, our stone gonna finish. We're gonna have a sill running right along underneath the window and then stone below. Okay, so our next step is to measure for our sill. Our sill is four inches plus the joint plus a quarter in space, that's gonna be four and three quarter. Four and three quarters is where we need to work the pump. Our biggest size stone that we're using is 11 and a half inches. So we're gonna measure 12. So 11 and a half plus half an inch joint, that's 12 inches. And you're gonna mark, go all the way down to the bottom. This way you check to see if you need to put a cut. You'd wanna put the cut down here rather than put it up top. So if you see right here, that's where my line is. So right here, if we put a small one, we should be perfectly fine. Go right around and we should reach right up here. We're gonna lay stone, come right up to around here, six inches below where our, our, our foundation plate is. And this is where we're gonna put our weeping plastic. Start by we're trying to achieve a half an inch joint. So for this one, I want to bring it right down to the bottom, the bottom of this one that we have here, the small. Bring them down to the same. What you want to do, you want to step away sometime. Just sight it. Just step away to see if you need to come out a little bit. You might gonna have to come out a little bit. Because I'm not the one who clocked this round. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's a hundred percent round as how it's supposed to be. When I'm clocking my own, I like to clock it so that it clock a hundred percent. In my previous video, Green was working on the front of this house and he did a little bit of shabby work over the window i was working at the back and i came and i saw it and i remove it at the end of this video you will see i show you um, the front of the house and if you look good you will see that it's different from what it is in the video 
because my guys who works with me know that if they ever to do anything that's not done the right and proper way I will take it down and anyone who knows me gonna tell you that's how I am so I, I saw a few guys commented on the video and said it is a shabby work and I agree a hundred percent and I'm pretty sure Mr. Green himself watched the video as well it's good when they watch it and see and learn they're working by the hour you have no reason not to do the job properly so if anyone ever come and works with me and they do any type of shabby work I will take it down yes you jump back in the video so here you now we're installing the weeping plastic afterwards we're just gonna tape that up um,
Hey, cut the book in a two for me now. You hear me? Okay guys, so here I just um, compact the joint with my jointer. If you look right around there, you see, give you a tour of the round, go right around. Start back from here. Beautiful, I think it looks good. What do you guys think in the comment? Leave it in the comment, let me hear you guys start. After it, we're gonna do our wire brush. Finish it off. We're gonna go and take a lunch break and come back. Okay, guys, so we're finished. I just put a whole bunch of brick ties right along the top of my wall there. And a lucky giant tie down. Let's see. Let's see how it gets. Okay, so we, we cut out all of our sills, we cut them the same size, go right around, just measure it out so that way we can cut it and all of them have the same uh, measurement. Now we're going to just remove them, so we cut them that we have nice size joint, just like you see. Now we're going to take them off and install them. If you look, you could see where the round go around. So right on top now, we're gonna be stucco. Go all the way up. Look like, it looks like the homeowner wanna change his mind, but we'll see.
Okay guys, well there you have it. Hope you get value from this video. If you do get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming video like this one. If you have any other way of how to lay brick on um, around your own, feel free to leave it in the comment section. My viewers and subscribers might learn something from it. Thank you as always, and I'll see you in the next one. That's it. Yeah man.